year what's going on everybody it's hot pocket and carter here the super mini youtube today i'm here bringing you guys the end of the season awards stats and what everybody was averaging at the end of the season before we went into the playoffs but before we move any forward into the playoffs, I actually want to bring you guys this quick video because I know I delayed it and I'm sorry about that. I know a lot of people were waiting. I know a lot of people want to see what I've won, what I've accomplished, how many milestones I have broken. But I just want to jump right into the playoffs with this small forward because I actually want to catch up to my point guard. Because everybody knows when 2K12 first came out, I started my point guard. Nobody knew if I was going to do a small forward or not. And I came with my small forward midway through the regular season of the NBA, and it is what it is. But um, I do want to talk to you guys about a few things about winning the awards, the stats that I average. Um, the reason I call myself the stat sheet stuffer is because I try to, you know, get stat high stats in all different categories, including blocks. I, I even try to get, try to get a couple blocks in my life. I try to go for the defensive player of the year, but sometimes, you know, I, I, look, I'm, I'm not going to tell you if I got it or not. But as you can see right here. Josh Smith pulled out the defensive player of the year. He was doing his thing on the blocks. He had great day. I, I know he was showing out. But um, also, when it comes to winning a lot of milestones on 2K12, you get a lot of skill points. I think I went into the um, playoffs with like an extra 40,000 skill points after winning all the milestones, the ending of the key games and all of that. The end of the season, I went ham on my stats. Um, I maxed out my speed. I maxed out my quickness. I maxed out a few different things that I do need to win games. I didn't go straight for the defensive and um, offensive awareness just to get my overall up like I did with my point guard. I actually went to like shooting traffic, uh, passing, ball security, vertical, stamina, speed, quickness. I did a lot of things, but check out here, man. Kobe Bryant averaging 33 points per game. Dwayne Wade averaging 26, I'm averaging 40, LeBron averaging 30, D. Howard averaging 25, Williams averaging 25, Westbrook averaging 25, Smith 18, Stoudemire 26, Goodness, Monte averaging 30, that's right, Nowinski averaging almost 25, Iggy averaging 18, okay, Brooke Lopez 20, Wade, you already seen him, Rondo doing his thing, yo, I'm telling you man, people in my player mode were putting up stats all season long like you thought my numbers were unrealistic come on man you got KD out here averaging 30 but the big thing is Kobe Bryant averaging 33 points in my player mode that's crazy <laughs> but you checking out the rookies right now um you, you see the cyber faces um I did want to bring you guys this specifically for the rookies just to show you guys all of these people all of their stats coming out of the first year now this was of course a full 82 games so you know it is what it is but um let's jump into a, something a little different instead of going into the playoff first round i'm gonna take you to my mvp billboard all right you guys let's check out some real real nice um this is long awaited my mvp billboard man i'm sorry i took so long to show you guys this but let's get into this endorsement real quick Check out that nice billboard, man. Laying right over top of the city in Dunkington, D.C. Doing it how we always do. <laughs> but I'm also got something else to show you guys. 2K Hoops Magazine. You know, going into the playoffs, they want to show me love. <laughs> now, let's check this out. Let's see what's going on with this endorsement. <laughs> check out that nice jailhouse pose. Um, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to get at y'all guys in the next playoff game. Peace.